If you are a fan of this series, this is probably one of the characters that has impacted you the most and hides countless secrets. A character with no apparent feelings, who calculates every move. But we also have to admit that this character is one of the most intelligent and cunning of all history. How has he survived? How did he manage to reach the end of the games alive? Because he is never surprised and never worried as if he knows what actually happens? That is why in this video we will study in detail the history and secrets of this character. We present to you Chishia's Secrets to Beat the Games But first, subscribe to our channel. If you are a fan of everything related to dramas, theories, and curiosities of the series. One of the series that revolutionized Netflix was Alice in Borderland. It is a series with a plot of terror and suspense. The story shows us the life of some friends who fall into a kind of deadly game which is complicated day by day, to kill almost everyone who is in it. The friends were sharing and enjoying themselves in the city when suddenly everything changed. Millions of people disappeared from the whole city and suddenly they were alone in it. In a few hours everything would change and everything would become a deadly game of live or die. But we were always surprised by one specific character. We always viewed with great suspicion this character who is so difficult to identify and so difficult to understand. We are talking about Shantaro Chishia, one of the strangest characters in the game. The first thing we have to start by saying about this character is that just when he started in the game we saw him exactly, at the beginning of the second game. Recall that already in the first game we saw how they had to manage to get out of that building before it finally exploded. Then it was when the players were called to the second game. This game is still one of the most remembered and one of the most terrifying as it was truly a very disturbing game. In that game, apparently Chishia knew what would happen or that was the impression he gave. Quickly at the beginning of the game he goes up to the seventh floor and says that it will be a good place and that from there, he will have an incredible view. First question we have to ask ourselves. How did he know that he would have an incredible view from that spot if they had not yet seen the thing that was coming to get them? Then we saw how as the game went on he didn't move from his spot until almost the end. Here we can see how analytical and careful this character is, that before acting and moving, he studies everything and then acts. We also have to remember that he found the map where the center of operations of those who were working observing the game was located. At the beginning we did not see much logic to this paper with this drawing that was not understood, but then in the end we discovered that he kept the paper and discovered that it was a map of the place where the observers were. Among other skills we can observe in this character is the ability to observe strategically. We can see how in each of his appearances he takes distance and calmly plans and makes very wise decisions, because he has been thinking about them for a long time. Throughout the story we saw how little by little he was planning his survival and we also saw how he used the trust of many to prevail. He made a plan to steal the cards and for this he needed Alice's help. He detected from the beginning Alice's heart and saw that she was a trustworthy person and that her feelings at some point could lead him to lose the game. So he manipulated Alice into believing that they could steal the cards to get out of the beach house. We finally saw that it was all a hoax and that everything was used for his convenience so he could come out the winner. One of the spectacular scenes of this character was when he was at the top of the building next to Naragi. We all saw how in the story was a feared and very rebellious character but apparently in real life he was a victim of abuse. It seems that like other characters Naragi found a new meaning to life within the game. So he decided to become the evil being we saw in the first season. 
Naragi and Shishia had had problems before, but had never solved any of them. This time Shishia decided to go after Naragi and finish him once and for all since he was one of his direct threats. We saw how Shishia used the mind game to decontrol Naragi and achieve the goal he wanted from the beginning, which was to eliminate him. So we can understand that this character calculates and analyzes very well which are his enemies, but also analyzes very well which will be his allies to use them and finally achieve his own objectives. So we can say that he is cold, calculating and has no feelings for anyone in particular. But in reality, what is the secret or what is the reason why this strange character has managed to get to the end without being eliminated? Many say that he has managed to win all the way to the end because of his ability to remain so calm in dangerous situations. And this stems from the fact that he has no interest in the concept of life, both his own and that of others. For others, Borderland is a life and death situation, but for him games are simply games. The truth is that he lacks the will to live. He doesn't know what he lives for, and was only interested in finally finding someone who was interesting in Borderland. Shishia's father, according to the original story, worked in unspecified specialty medicine. They rarely chat because the father concentrated in front of the computer among the mountains of medical books. Shishia also hints that his parents' marriage was simply to secure the position of head of their hospital. Lacking his parents' love, Chishia followed his father's path to study at medical school as a surgical intern. He wanted to know if he really cared about lives, and he wanted to see if saving lives could help him find an interest in life. But the effort was in vain, clearly we see in the series that he apparently doesn't care about anything and much less has an interest in helping anyone but himself. Many people think that he actually has hatred for all of humanity because his father dedicated his life to saving lives and never really gave him the love he needed so then he grew up with a hatred for society because he thinks that society actually took his father away from him. So this gives him an advantage over the other players because he will never have a problem using others for the win so this is a potent weapon to preserve his life in Borderland. So we can understand that his survival is not thanks to superpowers, or as many think it might even be part of the game. His survival is due to his ability to not feel feelings towards anyone in particular and being calculating, and a very intelligent person. This allows him to anticipate everything and create strategic plans in order to use the weaker feeling people to his advantage. But tell me what you really think of this character. Tell me what strikes you most about this mysterious person. Do you think he could win and finally win all the games in this way? Leave me your opinion in the comments. Subscribe to this channel as we will be talking about this great series, theories, and incredible details of Alice in Borderland 2. If you like this video please like and share it with your friends.